Yo, what's good guys? Theo here. In this video, I want to show you guys how to do a recursive map function. So basically, let's look at what map does. So say we have um, numbers array of 1, 2, and 3. If we were to store numbers.map, we pass in a number, or rather we pass in a function that's just going to return number times 2, and if we log out the result, we're going to see 2, 4, and 6. Um, simil similarly, we can build our own method called map, which takes in an array and a func, which is a function. And what we can do now is go through the array, so we can do array dot for each function value, and then we can just return um, Basically, we can return here the func on the value. So now if we build out this function called multiply by 2, it takes in a value, and it just returns the value times 2. But what will happen here, guys, is if we call map with 1, 2, and 3, and multiply by 2, um, then I can store my result in here and I can go ahead and log out my result and we need to actually invoke it sorry with the value multiplied by 2 and I can actually call return funk v is not defined my bad and uh, it is undefined why is that I think it's because we're using a for each not a regular for loop so we go back here i equals 0 i is less than array dot length I plus plus, and here we can just run func of, um, we're going to store actually a result array, and we could say result up push func of array of i, and at the very end here, we just want to return our result. So with that, that actually works. We get 246, and I can change it, and we get 369. So those are two ways to create a map method. Now let's do it with recursion. So what we can do here, guys, is let me just make sure for, and let's run it, there we go. So what we can do now is build this method recursively. So we can say um, var recursive map is gonna be equal to a function, which all it's gonna take in here is an array and a callback. And our base case is gonna be if array.length is equal to one, Let's go ahead and return a callback with array, or you could do array of zero, either one. Otherwise, if we have not broken out of this um, call stack, then what we can do here is we can return this array with callback of array of zero, the first element that we're on, and then we also want to um, concat add onto this array the result of um, array dot slice one but first of all we want to call recursive map on this and our second parameter of course is going to be a callback so with that that should work but um, let's go ahead and create our numbers so our numbers are going to be one two and three and our method multiply by two again it's just a function, takes in a val, and it's just going to return the value by 2. So with that, we can say var result equals recursive map, and we're going to pass in numbers and multiply by 2. And with that, let's look at the result that we get here. So we run this, and we get 246. That has indeed worked. Um, so let me explain this to you, break it down with the stack. So we'll see stack calls, just to give everyone the general idea. First call, what's gonna happen? And let me do this with a multi-line comment. And we can, okay, what is it complaining about? All right, cool, so there's our multi-line comment and we'll say first call, What's going to happen is we have this array of, uh, and we'll say of our stack is equal to this empty array 
is our stack. Uh, so we have one, two, three is our array. Is it equal to one? No. Okay. Then we want to return this array, a new array basically, with a callback with array of zero. So callback on one. So what's one times two? That's two. So we want to return two dot concat, which is just going to basically push, but it's more like a conjoin, a join, uh, with the with the result of recursive map array dot slice one. So basically, this is just like a shift, um, so a reverse pop of recursive maps. We're going to concat on the uh, result of recursive map of two and three with the callback. Okay. Um, so at this point, our stack is going to look like this. It's going to look like two and then the result of recursive map and the callback. So our second call to the stack is going to be two and three. No, it's not equal to one. Then let's go ahead and return. Um, um, we're going to return, what are we going to return? We're going to return array of zero. In this case, it's two. Okay, but two multiplied by two with our callback is four. So now we're going to return four dot concat um, recursive map of three. And of course, our callback. And uh, am I missing one? Recursive map callback dot concat. And we need a dot concat recursive map. And then, yeah, that should go at the end, sorry. So now our stack at this point will look like this. It should look like two, four, and recursive map of three, and the callback. Finally, our third call to the stack will look like this. We will have, um, we're just going to have three in here. Is this equal to one? Yes, it is. We have to break out. So this is the base case I chose. I'm sure there are other ones you could do. And uh, so now we will return the callback on that array. You could also use array of zero, uh, but because it's one element, it's not going to throw an error. Um, so now what we'll do here is we'll return um, the callback on that, which because we passed in three, now we should just get um, we should just get a, uh, a value of six, okay? And so now our stack, and basically we're returning that, so we're pushing it onto the stack, or we're concatenating onto the stack. So now we should just have two, four, six, and finally we will return this stack. So we should get it two, four, and six. You can see if I change these values to two, four, and six, Similarly, we should have three, sorry, similarly, we should have four, eight, and 12 because we're multiplying each value by two, okay? But if we were to change this to three, you know, then we're going to see six, 12, and 18. Awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.